What's up, everybody? It's Lukey, and I'm going on vacation to Hawaii. This is episode one of my Hawaiian vacation. Let's watch the intro and then get into some golf course reviews. So Wailea Emerald Golf Course was the first course I played. And it looks like when you watch this vlog, you will think that I am copying my good friend Double, Baggy, Double Bogey Bass, who's a YouTuber and a great golfer, much better golfer than myself. I've actually lost $5 to him at a place called Hagen Oaks in Sacramento. Quite amazing, actually. So Wailea Emerald is a golf resort. It's very nice. It reminds me a lot of Indian Wells, right? So it caters to a certain person. You go, you get your golf cart, and then there's a range you can basically walk up to, but they provide courtesy shuttles, little golf carts that you can go about 600 feet up to the range. There's a chipping green and a putting green. It's very, very much the Indian Wells experience that I experienced. And there's a little bit of that kind of artificial flavoring kind of resembles a little bit of suburb golf with oceanfront views. Gold and emerald are the expensive, the very expensive ones. They clock in at $245 at the rate. Now there's a blue course, which is less. Let me go over right now what I was told is the difference between the three courses because I played with some locals. The gold is the course that the Skins game with Jack Nicholas and some other great players played on. It's viewed as the player's course, the hardest course on the property, and what was described by many is it has the most bunkers. So it seems like it's a little bit more strategic and it requires more accuracy, narrower fairways. So the blue course, from what I understand and what I saw, it's more of a wide open golf course it has some bunkers and stuff like that but really the big criticism i heard is the criticism of stream song black really big greens and the ability to three putt is quite easy and for those that believe if you hit a green and you should be rewarded with a two putt a course maybe like wilea blue might be more difficult but it's a more reasonable price point to enter at and it still offers ocean views the Emerald course is viewed as a more forgiving option that's a combination of the Gold course and the Blue course. Wailea Emerald, to me, is very similar to Indian Wells Celebrity course. It's a course where it's well taken care of. You're going to get your tees. You're going to get a great experience, tee to green. It has a heavy Donald Ross influence, in my opinion. There's uh, centerline bunkers on a couple of holes. Uh, a lot of slope on the greens at times, Bermuda greens, which means that the putts don't break nearly as much. So you're going to, if you play on bent grass, you're probably going to miss on the high side just slightly if you play the bent grass roll, which... Some people might not know what I'm talking about. Go play this course, and then they go, hmm, a lot of my putts are missing high side. That might be what's happening. It's a very well-crafted course. It's a very enjoyable round of golf. It's a golf round that I think that if you have the money and you enjoy golf, you will like it. But it's also more of a golf experience that you can tell was built by a bulldozer. It's a golf experience that's more based around leisure and people of all skill levels coming out and playing a golf course. I don't view this course as the most like strategic course. I played pretty bad on it, but once again, I'm not really like a good golfer, so we don't tune into my channel to say, oh man, I think like there's been a bunch of people like, oh, I'm better than you. Well, duh, like that's half of people that play golf. The big thing about this course is there's great conditions and the ocean views are quite lovely. There's about three or four holes that seem like they're filler holes to get you back to some ocean views. But all in all, I found it as a very pleasant experience with the downside being there really wasn't that many holes that I left longing for after playing it. And I think that's that's the only downside is I think that this is a course that suits a lot of people that are going out to get a pleasant and enjoyable round of golf. 
but I'm not sure if this is one where you're, if you're looking for quirk and some, some unique shots, I'm not sure this is it. This is a very resort golf golf course. Might be the most resort golf course golf course that I've ever played. So let me show you some footage and that'll probably be it. So this is a view from the first tee, and it's basically from the tee box I played a drivable par four. Um, kind of gives you an, a view of what it is. Starts to the water, narrows out, short hole, very gettable. Once again, strategic bunkers, waste areas in the driving area. This is kind of a theme of the course, is it's kind of wide open, but at the same time, there's enough strategy out there to force you to have to hit shots. There's also those turtleback greens from that Donald Ross influence I talked about. And this course also has a little bit more slope than I expected. You can kind of see right there a little bit of slope and some of those bunkers kind of a little bit tricky and they sit on these uh, nooks or uphill slopes. There's really not a green that I can remember that wasn't on a false front. This is probably the most interesting hole, hole 10. And it shares a green with hole 17 as well, which is a really neat touch. It has water that shares from both holes as well. There's a slope in the middle, which serves as like a, a barrier from being able to get into it. And here's some of the, like the slope around the green that shows the dramatic nature of some of the green structures. Here's a really nice par three that leads you back to the water. There's three strategically placed bunkers and the hole on that day was very, very tough. This was a, a gettable par four, but it's very narrow and you can almost hit into another group on the other tee box. This kind of shows you some of the views, really spectacular. And if you're able to relax while you play golf, this is a very relaxing and easy, easy viewing course. This is the Donald Ross centerline bunker hole that kind of remind me of a Spanish Bay hole. 17, a somewhat drivable par four risk reward hole reminds me of a Palmer design. Uh, you really could put it on the green and go for it on this one. And it shares that green from the 10th tee box as well. This is also what the screens look like in your golf cart. Gives you tons of information. I thought that that was a very beautiful look at one of the holes I had played previously. They're shaped really well within those trees. Here's just kind of a look at the hole, the pin, and all that stuff on the 17th green. I thought it just looked cool at the time, so I included it. 18. Every hole in Hawaii is a downhill par 5, it feels like. You hit towards the mountains and you let your ball go. Of course, I hit it out of play, but that's because I suck. Okay, thank you for watching this video. This is episode 1 of my Hawaiian escapades. As always, like the video. Um, tell me that you're better than me at golf in the comments. That would be super helpful. Tell me I'm ugly. That would also be pretty darn cool. And recommend a golf course for me to play some average golf at and talk about for your work week. That'd be great. See you soon.